A clafouti is a classic French dessert that's a cross somewhere between a fruit pie and a baked custard. It's also an easy and elegant dish and one of my personal go-to desserts for entertaining. Best of all, with just a couple of tweaks to the original recipe, we can make this dish both gluten-free and dairy-free without needing to use any specialty ingredients or sacrificing flavor. <laughs> custard that is studded with fruit, traditionally unpitted cherries. The pits from the cherries add in a subtle spicy note to the clafouti, and as you eat the dessert you're expected to spit the cherries out. It's an interactive dessert. At its core, however, a clafouti is a very flexible dish that can accommodate a wide range of fruit. We're going to start by looking at the fruit. Then, how it's possible to make this dish both gluten and dairy free without sacrificing either flavor or texture. Finally, we'll discuss the custard, which brings this entire dish together into one cohesive dessert. Although cherries are the traditional choice, you can use a wide variety of fruit for making a clafouti. Today, I'm going to be using a small variety of plums known in Austria as Schwetschken. They have a sweet, sour flavor and will make a great substitute for the cherries. As a rule, however, you could use just about any stone fruit. Apricots would be another excellent choice. Or berries such as blueberries, raspberries, or blackberries. You could even use frozen, defrosted fruit instead of fresh. What's really important to us is not so much the fruit that we use, but the moisture content of that fruit. If the fruit releases too much water while baking, we could end up with a custard that doesn't set properly. To combat that, we're going to start by cooking off some of the moisture from our fruit. Not only will this help to ensure that our custard will set properly, but it also gives us the opportunity to amplify the flavor of the fruit that we're using by lightly browning and caramelizing the outside. How long you cook the fruit is going to depend on what you use and whether it is fresh or frozen. You'll know the fruit is done when the liquid in the skillet, if there is any, is starting to turn syrupy and the fruit is fragrant and has started to acquire some color. There's a pretty forgiving window here. As long as you aren't pouring a ton of liquid with your fruit into the clafouti, you'll be just fine. Now we're going to toss our fruit with a couple of ingredients. Lemon juice to help bring the sweet and sour of the fruit back into balance, cardamom to give our clafouti a hint of spice, and cornstarch, a thickening agent that will help take care of any of the excess liquid, which will come out as the fruit cools down after cooking. The beauty of this clafouti is that we can easily make it both dairy-free and gluten-free using very simple swaps with common, easy-to-find ingredients that you may already have in your pantry. The first swap is replacing flour with cornstarch. A clafouti doesn't have a crust. Instead, the edges of the custard bake into a soft edge, helped along and thickened by a relatively small amount of flour. Instead of flour, however, we will be using cornstarch. Unlike flour, cornstarch is a pure starch, which means it's about twice as effective in thickening things as flour is. So whereas we would normally use a half cup of flour in this recipe, we'll be swapping it with a quarter cup of cornstarch to do the same job. The second swap is milk and heavy cream for soy products. This is a direct swap. One cup of heavy cream becomes a one cup of soy cream and two thirds cup of whole milk becomes two thirds cup of soy milk. The milk you use can be flexible. Almonds, coconut, oat milk, all of those things will work just as well. The important thing here is the fat. The fat from the heavy cream and the whole milk help to lend that tender richness to the custard that we associate with a custard. If your milk substitute has a similar weight and body as the heavy cream and the milk, then it'll work out just fine. The base of this clafouti is a lightly sweetened egg custard. 
It's due to this egg-based custard that we can successfully make this dish both gluten-free and dairy-free with just a few simple ingredient swaps. We'll be using four eggs as our base, then adding in the sugar, salt, vanilla, and lemon zest for a bit of perfume. Then we'll be adding in our cornstarch and soy cream and soy milk. Rather than gluten creating the structure of the dessert, like you would have with a cake, it's the eggs. The milks, salt, and sugar that we are adding into the eggs are all doing a very important job called denaturing. When you cook an egg with nothing else added, the proteins in that egg bind together and they set up in a very specific structure. Think plain scrambled eggs. As soon as you add salt, however, or liquids like milk or water, the liquids and the mineral in that salt disrupt the egg's ability to set up, resulting in tender, more creamy eggs. Denaturing is the principle that's at work behind a smooth and silky custard versus a clump of curdled eggs. because I'm going to be cooking this entire dessert in the skillet from start to finish. You can use any oven safe skillet, or if you don't have one, transfer the fruit to a pie tin after cooking. for entertaining. It hits the mark on basically every point for me. Eggs, milk, cornstarch, and sugar are very easy to find, and the flexibility you have with the fruit means you can choose something in season, or even pick up some frozen fruit in a pinch. Given how lovely and elegant this dish turns out to be, it has relatively few ingredients. Once again, your flexibility regarding the fruit means you can pick up something in season, which usually also means that it's cheaper. Don't be intimidated by the idea of cooking the fruit. This recipe is arguably even simpler than whipping up your favorite batch of cookies. The process is very streamlined, using just one or two bowls and a skillet from start to finish, and you don't need to worry about any special equipment like an electric mixer. It's a super easy dessert to throw together, but I promise you that people will never guess how easy it was. Once again, I love this dish for entertaining. Since it's also not a super sweet dessert, you can have it just as easily for an afternoon coffee as after dinner. It's very easy to scale up. Making multiples of a clafu tea is way easier than trying to bake multiple cakes or pies for a party. Check out the recipe in the video description below, and don't forget to hit like and subscribe to stay posted on more recipes and videos. I'll see you next time!